and specifics. Again, I am Shakita, and the purpose for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to access or use Notary Rotary page sorter. So I've been getting quite a few questions of people that do not have dual printers. And as you can see in my background over there, um, that is my printer that I use when I'm at home and I'm not in the office. But anywho, um, and it's not a dual printer, um, meaning that it doesn't print letter and legal at the same time. So I'm just going to show you something that I do whenever I print that makes life a little bit easier for me. Of course, there's several other options, but for today's purpose, I'm going to show you something that I use and something that is free. Of course, like I stated, there are several other ways to do this. There's not one way that's more correct than the other. It's just preference. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Give me one brief second. All righty, here we go. So all I did was type in notary rotary page sorter and it's the first one at the top. And of course this is on the notary rotary.com website. So I'm just gonna click on that real quick. And as you can see, notary rotary, this is the PDF page sorter. And again, this is 100% free. So there's no charge to use this. So all you would do is go to choose file, which is this button here. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to, let me see, select a miscellaneous file. Here we go. So I found my file. These are just some mock documents that I use for, um, to mentor notaries or whatnot. So it shows up here. I'm gonna click process. Takes like about a minute or so. Alrighty, so as you can see on the screen, it told me the total page count, which is 120. It tells me how many is in letter form and how many is on legal. So there's 36 that I need to print on letter and there's 84 on legal. So I'm going to click on the letter. Okay. And it is going to bring me to um, view the PDF. So here, okay, 36 pages from this page. I'm just going to go over to my right hand corner, click print. This is the part that's very important. You want to check your printer settings. So I've got my destination of which printer I wanna use. I wanna print all pages. I just want one copy and I want it in black and white. This box right here, this is more settings. I'm gonna click this arrow here. It's gonna create a drop down menu. It's paper size, um, since I'm printing letter, this is letter. Pages per sheet, just one page per sheet. Uh, per sheet. And I have the scale as to fit paper. And sometimes you may have it on other settings. If you're printing other things, you can have it on custom or you can just have it on fit to paper. I just always leave it on fit to paper because I'm not customizing the scale of the paper for anything. So once you check that it is indeed on letter and it is printing one page per sheet and you have the correct scale size, um, then you'll proceed to click print and it'll print all 36 of those pages, letter size, and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, next, let me exit out of here. Alrighty, we're going back. So I'm gonna click on, click here for your legal document. Alrighty, okay. So as you see here, it is 84 pages, excuse me. Okay, it is 84 pages of legal size documents. So again, I'm gonna go over here to my print icon to my far right side of the screen. I'm going to click the arrow to open up the selections. So since we're printing legal, I'm gonna click on the box and press legal. So now it formatted and it let my printer know that I am printing legal size. I'm printing on um, you know, a legal size on legal paper. 
Again, it's one page per sheet. And again, the scale is to uh, fit to paper. I would, um, before I would go to my printer, obviously, put in the legal size paper and press print. So never forget that step. I forgot to tell you guys earlier with you printing whatever size and you adjusting your printer settings as i just showed you always go to your printer and make sure that you switch your paper out since you don't have a dual printer and it's not going to automatically do that you have to do that so make sure you print the right printer settings and you have the right size paper in the printer when you're printing those documents and that's pretty much about it so this is how you would use the notary rotary okay i'm back so this is how you would use the free notary rotary page sorter to print legal and letter size documents and like i said if you do not have a dual printer this is the next best thing it is free of charge it's convenient and like i said i use it at home and it's worked just fine for me so I thought I would share this with you guys. So new notaries that are getting started and freaking out because they weren't able to purchase a dual printer or um, and they don't know how to separate their documents or how to do it. This is how you do it because it can be kind of confusing because I know in some of the instructions that you will receive, it'll be a paper that tells you what to do in your computer settings and it can confuse the heck out of you. OK, this is the easiest way to do it. Whenever you go online, just download your documents to your computer, save it to a file, whatnot. Go to that notary rotary page sorter.com, open up that file, process it, and it automatically separates it for you. And that's it, you guys. So if you guys like these type of videos where I show you more in depth of how to do simple things or even complicated things, uh, please let me know. Um, if you have any other like suggestions or any questions, please feel free to type them below, as well as I have provided my contact information in the description box, my email, and um, that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to press the like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you'll never miss an upload.